Oh boy. Fiber arts are not just a way of life for Donna Jo. Oh, isn't that good? That's just delicious, isn't it? It is her life. <laughs> the whole thing comes down to the animals, uh, a way to keep us, uh, a way to support us. Um, I, I am an absolute animal nut, uh, always have been. I have an, you know, rabbits in the kitchen. Yes, I'm an animal nut. <laughs> Can you say hi? Huh? Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Say, I am rotten. Say, I am rotten bunny. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I was at a rabbit show and saw my first Angora and it was a blue English Angora. And I came home and told mom and grandpa, you know, we gotta think this over. So I bought it and that began the whole English Angora empire. An empire that has taken 40 years to build and sustain her livelihood. It was because I had the Angoras that I learned to spin and I learned to knit and to weave. And I paid high school expenses and my expenses at IU with bunnies. A good yet simple life, says Donna Jo a self-proclaimed farmeress of Breezy Manor Farm in Mooresville. There has never been a wealthy fiber artist in the whole history of the entire world. These little torts are so cute. But if happiness equals wealth, Donna Jo is rich. I go to bed tired. I wake up ready for the day. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Hey, guys. What you doing? Oh, there they come. There come my babes. Yes. <laughs> Every day she tends to her goats, sheep, and chickens. Mom's got cookies. And, of course, her 50 bunnies. Okay, and this is the bunny barn. This is where most of them live. This is Peaches. And Peaches is about six, and she had a litter this spring. Like the other bunnies, Peaches will give Donna Jo an entire grocery sack of fur every four to six months. And this is the great outdoors. Charlotte is what we call a black, and Peaches is a fawn, and there's there's a lot of wool, but there's as you can see, there's not really much bunny. <laughs> and when you comb it, you get just natural soft wool. Let me show you here. It just comes right up. Look at this, isn't that luscious? One sack of bunny fur is enough to make a vest. Donna Jo says investing in natural fibers is an investment worth paying for. And when you buy a sweater for me, I buy feed for my animals, I pay my taxes, I pay my insurance, I support the whole economy. I buy my feed locally, it's all grown locally, I buy my hay for my neighbors. It, it keeps a whole microcosm going. She jokes the farm will continue until someone finds her dead behind the barn. And I intend to do this until they throw dirt in my face. <laughs> I really do. I never intend to quit. There's just something, something wonderful about them keeping a profession that goes back thousands of years still going. And you know, you can't be a grump if, if you've got this kind of a face to look at, you know? <laughs> Find out about products and programs offered by Donna Joe and meet all of the animals of Breezy Manor at breezymanor.com.